here's a rose family for polar graphs. So here, as you can see, if it's sine, the first group, it's symmetrical on the y-axis, which, which we call pi over 2. You see, if you fold it by these lines, it will be symmetrical. If it's cosine, then they start on the polar axis, which is positive x-axis. As you can see, you, you see how the petal is on the polar axis, and it's symmetrical on the polar axis, like x-axis. And the number, if you write it in b sine of n theta or b cosine of n theta, b is the number of, I mean, the length of the petal. So you see it's 1, 2, 3. So it's 3. Here is 1, 2, 3, 3. Here is 1, 2, 3 again. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4. So you write it 4. And for n, if you have an odd number, then you have n petals. So if you have 3, which is odd, you have three petals. Three again, three. If it's five, you have just five. But if you have even number, n, so here's even number two, then you double it. It's two times n petals, so one, two, three, four. So here's four, then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight petals. So when you go to the link that I put under, so when you click on the link that I put below, you can play with the number of graphs. So here, go to the tools and change it to polar graph and click on the axis number. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means B is, B is the length, four, and N is four. If it's odd, it just becomes three. What if it's two? It's four, same length. Cosine, as you can see, you start your first petal on the x-axis, okay? So you can play with this. The other groups are Lemnus gates and Archimedes spiral. Lemnus gates are kind of look like rows. If it's diagonal, it's sine, and it's opposite of the rows. So here, Lemnus gate, if it's diagonal, it is sine, and you write it as r squared equals to a squared sine of 2 theta. So a is the length of the petal. So if it's 16, the length is 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's 1, 2, 3, then it will be 3 squared, which is 9 cosine of 2 theta. If n is even, then you just have n petals. You remember rows, you double the n number if it's even. But here, if it's even, it's just even. If it's odd, then you double the petal. And if it's diagonal, it's even. If it starts on the x-axis or polar axis, it's odd. I mean, it is cosine. And the spiral is r equals to theta, and it looks like a spider going 